All right, so here we have a picture of my uh, Core P5 build um, as it was before I did this little upgrade. Um, I thought it looked good, but these fan grills that I found, I think are just going to help add a little bit of visual pop. And so let's go ahead and get started with how I uh, printed and installed those. All right, so as I mentioned before, I actually obtained this file uh, from the Thermaltake website. They actually had a 3D modeling section um, that they put in here after the release of the Core P5 case, where they basically had a bunch of uh, you know user modifications and upgrades that you could do um, on your case via 3D printing, which I thought was pretty cool. Now this particular fan uh, grill is not in the P Core P5 uh, section because it's a universal design. It's a 120 millimeter fan, so it'll work with any you know fan of that size. So if you just go to the second tab here, it's down here, down here at the very bottom. And they have part A and part B. Part A is this back, uh, kind of like the hub part, and then part B is the central spoke. Now you can download these directly from this website. But the thing is, is the files that I downloaded from here didn't print properly. Um, specifically, this hub one just didn't didn't print out right. I'm not sure what the issue was. So I went ahead and downloaded these, and then I modified them and resaved them as STL files and upped them back to Thingiverse. Um, that seems to work better. The files are also smaller now. And so I'll put the link for Thingiverse, uh, these, these files, on the description down below. But these are the ones that I use, and these, this works better. So I'll go ahead and kind of show you uh, what I did to make this work. So first I'm going to drop in uh, the part, part A, and again, it's the backing here. Now, one thing is it does come with these little tabs. Um, I'm not exactly sure what these were intended to be for. They don't really go anywhere. I couldn't figure out what they were used for. I didn't really want them, so I went ahead and went over to uh, in, in Simplify 3D. I went to Mesh, Separate Connected Surfaces, and it basically breaks the model up for you, and then I just uh, deleted these little tabs because, again, I didn't want them printed. So with that done, um, I, go ahead and I went to my process settings, and this one I just did a medium setting, so it's essentially 200 micron print. Uh, infill was only 20%, which is totally fine for this. And... We go ahead, go ahead and generate that. And as you can see here, a lot of back and forth between the different parts, but uh, the infill is pretty straightforward. And Simplify 3D does a great job of support structures, so it, it automatically puts the support structures behind these uh, spoke legs that come out. So not going to have any, any issues there. So that was perfect. I saved that file and good to go. And then I'll go back and show you what the uh, part B looks like as well. So the spoke's pretty straightforward. Um, again, if you are using Simplify 3D, it's going to automatically print some support structures for underneath the uh, the spokes here. So let's see what that would look like. And yeah, so you can see those support structures already in place. And it'll do just fine. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at one of the prints in progress. All right, so here are one of the uh, fan covers, you know, part A is printing. Uh, I'll go ahead and zoom in here for a better look here in a second. And zoom into the enclosure here. It's probably kind of noisy because the printer is not exactly quiet. So you can see it's doing some infill there. Looks like it's a, I have this set at 20%. And it's also got some support prints for the top part of the fan. So when it comes out we'll get a better look at it see how it looks up next to the radiator fans. And here we have the uh, part B of these fan, the fan. Uh, basically it's just this little blue uh, spoke looking thing that installs over the front. Um, again with my black and blue theme I think it'll look pretty decent but we'll see how it turns out once I actually get it installed and, and on the radiator. Alright so there's the finished print. I got two of them done here. Um, just kind of showing what it looks like with the you know part A and B put together. Um, I might use some primer filler and then actually paint these in matte black if I don't like the gloss. So we'll see how that goes. But so far it's looking pretty good. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna paint one and give it a give it a test and see which one I like better. Then go from there. And I did go ahead and use some uh, primer filler to just kind of smooth this out a little bit and then prep it for the matte black spray paint, which is what it looks like here. And again, I think it does improve it. I don't like the shiny look as much of the uh, PLA plastic um, on this particular case, so good choice there. And here we have a quick before and after, basically before here on the left with no fan grill, and then here on the right uh, with fan grills, and then the same picture just with the uh, case lights on. 
And here's a side by side of what the case now looks like with both lights off and lights on. All right, so overall, this was a pretty simple upgrade, um, but I think it does add a lot uh, to my case. And again, I love how I was able to kind of match uh, the color of my existing theme. Um, basically, I'd say overall print time for these things is roughly about five hours uh, for the two parts combined. Um, I could be off on that, maybe a little bit more. Not too massive of an undertaking to print these out. Um, I will go ahead and post the STL files for both of these in the video description, so if you want to give it a shot, have fun. But overall, I love the way they look, and they do not restrict any of the airflow, and hopefully they keep the fingers of my smaller kids out of the fans. So we'll see what happens. But uh, just like anything else, if you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments, and thanks for watching.